Hi and welcome back to Dubai for another TBK Cooks. And today we're going to be cooking an Indian or Pakistani dish uh, called butter chicken curry. And I have to say this has been a firm favourite of mine for a very long time. It's in my 2014 recipe book and uh, I was taught this dish by my very good friend Anis Nadim. That's his picture just here. Uh, one of the things that he taught me to cook was butter chicken curry, another was ras male, and uh, so this recipe is dedicated to him, to me. Uh, so starting off for the back, 150 milliliters of natural yogurt, yo low fat of course. Uh, next to that we have some almonds, I have a big container but we only need 50 grams of um, ground almonds. Uh, then we have some chili powder, this is Kashmiri chili powder, which is very uh, spicy, Kashmir in Pakistan, so that's good for Pakistani curry. Following up that, the bay leaves that I uh, have been trying to get rid of for ages. We only need a quarter of a teaspoon. Um, and then we go on to the spices. So we have some uh, cloves, a uh, quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Um, and then we also have some cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Uh, and then we have some garam masala. We're going to have one teaspoon of that. Then over here we're going to have one, sorry, we're going to have four cardamom pods. I couldn't find any ginger pulp, so we've got the real thing. Likewise, the garlic. We're going to have one teaspoon of ginger pulp, one teaspoon of garlic pulp. The tomatoes I did find, 400 gram the can. Uh, we're going to have a quarter teaspoon of salt. Who put that in that front row? Uh, and then we're going to have uh, one kilogram of chicken. So that's four by 250 gram pieces of uh, skinned, boned and cubed uh, breast of chicken in this case. 75 grams of butter. We have 4,000 grams, so we're only going to use a little bit of that. Uh, one tablespoon of corn oil. For those of you that read Arabic, yes, this is sunflower oil and the flour is a bit of a giveaway. And now we have two onions. Two tablespoons of coriander or cilantro, as they call it in the Philippines. And four tablespoons of cooking cream. So you can see this is a very uh, creamy dish. It has uh, cream in it. Uh, it has yogurt in it. Uh, it has quite a few spices, but they're kind of blended together very nicely. The thing I like about this dish is it's very simple and easy to make. First of all, you take a bowl and uh, into this bowl you put the yogurt, you put the chili, you put the garam masala, you put the bay leaves, you put the cloves, you put the cardamom pod, uh, basically all of the dry spices that I mentioned earlier on. What did I just miss out? The ground almonds, um, the cinnamon, uh, and then I'm going to add the garlic and the ginger pulp. I just need to uh, cut that and uh, prepare that. And 400 grams of tomatoes. And then once you've done that, let's just add the tomatoes now without my hand over the lens. And then we give it a good old mix. Okay, so let's uh, do some preparation now. We're going to cut up the garlic, we're going to cut up the ginger, add that to the spice mixture, and then we're going to cut up the chicken, wash it obviously first, and then we're going to pour the... Uh, mixture over the chicken. So as you can see one teaspoon of garlic, uh, sorry ginger, uh, is you know only always oh, like quarter of an inch off the bottom of the uh, ginger root so it wouldn't have been worth my while uh, going to buy a whole um, jar of ginger paste. Um, however Rihanna Gardner introduced me to uh, garlic paste so I'll uh, share the secret with you. Uh, you can buy pre-prepared uh, ginger paste in a jar and you can also buy uh, pre-prepared garlic paste in a jar and you can even buy uh, a jar that contains garlic and ginger paste together. Likewise with the garlic I'm just going to take maybe two cloves of garlic here, going to peel them uh, and then I'm going to chop them up and then I'm going to add them to this uh, mixture here at the back. Uh, when you're uh, taking garlic um, and you're peeling off the skin as you can see here and get left with this the problem is you get it all under your fingernails and it smells and it's difficult to get rid of. So what they uh, suggested you do is take a big heavy knife like this. It's better if you can do it on a chopping board. And then you bang on the knife uh, here right above the uh, garlic. 
and that will squash it. So this is now what we call crushed ginger and some recipes ask you for crushed, uh, sorry, cr crushed garlic. But as you can see, it's really easy to peel off the skin now because uh, once the, you crushed it, the weight of the knife and your hand on the uh, garlic actually forced uh, the garlic to squash and that, that forced uh, the um, uh, skin off it. So now all I have to do is slice it and dice it. And in fact, this is one clove of garlic. Okay, so we're now gonna uh, wash the chicken and we're gonna cut that into cubes. Okay, so I've got the chicken and I washed it and I'm just cutting it down the middle here on my improvised chopping board, my upturned bowl. And um, I'm gonna cut it into fairly small uh, pieces. It says put 75 grams of butter into the pan. Now J-Boy would be saying, but I don't have scales. How can I possibly weigh out 75 grams? So the packet is 400. So that means half is 200. That means half of that is 100. That means half of that is 50, is that right? This one here is 100. So I want 75 grams. So that's this much. So one tablespoon of oil and 75 grams of butter. So we're gonna heat the butter and the oil in the pan, and then we're gonna add the onion. Okay, Chester, turn on the smell o vision Smell those onions cooking in that pan in the butter. Three minutes they're gonna cook for. Then we're gonna add the chicken and yogurt mixture, and we're gonna cook that for seven minutes. And while that's happening, we're gonna wash and chop our cilantro, or coriander, as we call it in England, and we're gonna put half of it into the dish, and then we're gonna use the other half to garnish it. And um, we're going out on the road again to film another series of TBK Eats. Yay! So, uh, obviously during that time, the butter chicken uh, curry uh, finished because uh, it was only seven minutes that it needed to cook and uh, it's ready for the tasting. Um, I was also uh, just saying before I cut myself off uh, that this is the last recipe from Dubai that we're going to be cooking uh, and starting from tomorrow we're going out on the road to film the rest of our TBK Eats series. So lots of TBK Eats going to be coming your way over the coming a uh, week or so as we finish our trip here to Dubai. But right now, it's time to taste the butter chicken curry. Okay, so here we go. Here is our butter chicken curry. I'll take a, a photo so that uh, Chester can show you that on the video without me spilling it all over the table here. And let's see what it tastes like. Actually, it's not as bad as it was when I tasted it earlier on. And don't forget as well, if it is too hot for you, you could always add some more cream. But yeah, you know, it's very nice. Chicken is well cooked now. The uh, uh, bay leaf, you just have to be a bit careful with this dish because you've got bits of bay leaf and bits of cardamom seed in and stuff like that. So if you eat those, that's going to explode in your mouth. Um, but normally this is very, very mild curry and I'm not a great spicy curry eater. So that's why I like this one particularly. Well, that's it for the last TBK Cooks <coughs> spicy vlog from Dubai. And uh, next time we uh, do another TBK Cooks, we'll be back in uh, Bahrain. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the series here from Dubai. Uh, thanks to Adagio for the beautiful kitchen and um, we'll speak to you soon.